As we see the restrictions for certain businesses across Oregon changing, other businesses and, and, and industries, like the restaurant industry, for example, are desperately waiting for change. Fox 12's John Hendricks is live tonight with a look at their concerns. John? Well, Pete, the Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association says that they're happy to see some of those uh, restrictions changing across Oregon, but they add restaurants across the state are still hurting. For Treva Gams, the pandemic has been tough. I have never seen anything like this, and um, it, it's, you know, it's devastating. She's been in the restaurant business for 40 years. Her restaurant, Gambretti's Italian restaurant in Salem and Albany, have been restricted since November. She says businesses have made changes to adapt, but to what avail? But a lot of them spent money putting in the plexi partitions, did some great renovations, and, and we're punishing them now for doing the right thing. She is not alone in this, left wondering why their industry has been reduced to takeout and delivery only. Adding the two weeks at a certain restriction level at a time is not helpful. There is nobody that runs a business with not knowing a timeline, having a plan, having an execution. So this will wait and we'll tell you in two weeks. How do you really try to be successful. Jason Brandt is the CEO of the Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association. The group is calling on the governor and health officials to ease restrictions on restaurants, saying the science isn't there to keep them limited in what they can and cannot do. The vast majority of the states in our country have indoor dining open right now, and they're finding uh, ways to uh, really manage the virus in, in a multifaceted way. They say Oregon food service industry accounts for less than 1% of all workforce outbreaks and 4.7% of Oregon's overall outbreaks, but operations are still shut down. We are disproportionately saddled uh, with economic restrictions that make it virtually impossible for our small businesses to stay in business. One thing that they would like to see change, a small step that could help some struggling businesses, is to have some sort of indoor dining, even if it is just 25 percent capacity. The reason I'm so confident in that is because we did have indoor dining open uh, across the entire state earlier in 2020, and case counts did remain low during that time. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office today and the Oregon Health Authority to get their take on all of this. We have not heard back just yet. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.